All right, I am back with another Wheel of Time video. Uh, this time we were talking about the costumes worn by, or the costume, really, but we actually had a remarkably lot to say considering there's only one costume, worn by Sheriam in season two of the Wheel of Time TV show. And for this video, I am going to give a spoiler warning, a very, very heavy spoiler warning, very strong spoilers. If you have not gone through to as far as the Gathering Storm, which is book 12, I think, 12? Yes, book 12 of uh, the Wheel of Time series. Do not go further. Stop. Do not pass go. You are not get, getting your $200, whatever. This very, very, very heavy spoiler warning uh, for this video. Uh, and when I say we, by the way, in this video, as always, I am joined by Pez, who is the costume expert, who uh, famously watched the first season of the Wheel of Time. And just based on her, her knowledge of costumes and costume design, was able to predict things from the book series much, much further on. She's finished the book series now. But like that that's how well she that's how good she is at her job. And uh, I'm also joined by Brie, who is one half of the best uh, best selling sci-fi fantasy romance author duo Kit Rosha. Uh, their most recent book, uh, Consort of Fire, is a super fun, super sexy romp. And you should totally, totally check it out. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, this is a fun conversation we had about uh, Shiriam and her role in the in the series. Uh, we also talked about some other stuff. But yeah, very, very heavy spoiler warning. So uh if you finish as far as Gathering Storm, let's let's go. Let's be nerdy with let's be nerdy. Let's be nerdy with let's be nerdy. Oh my gosh. Yes. I love it. Yeah. Now this must be one. Is this something that um our fabulous costumer dropped, Sharon dropped, or? I it just... think it must have been, yeah. It, yeah. it looks like the kind of photos that we take with actors once we finalize their costume. Um, sometimes they're used for marketing or other things, but a lot of it is for, like, documentation. So you have this, like, dossier of what they're supposed to look like. Right, <laughs> right. Pro, are they in all the pieces? Um, but it also <clears> lets <throat> you do like lighting tests and different things. I love this. Mm -hmm. It is great. I, I love this like over cape thing. It's just, that's just and it, nice. It so effectively sells evil magical boarding school. Like part of it is just the, the zeitgeist of the last few years. And the fact that certain magical boarding schools have absolutely uh, become far more evil in, in many people's imaginations. Um, but yes, <laughs> there's something about the shoulder Cape that just sells the whole like strict Victorian disciplinary oh, and school marm. It's thing. So good from the front. Yeah. Too. The different kinds of blue in it are just like mm -hmm. like this is a deep blue it's um it's very deep but we keep going forward Almost and then just black. like in some lights it looks teal i know like this deep blue and then there's like yeah. the midnight with like i don't even know if that's actual blue or black applique like it is i think mm. it's a very dark blue but it's on like it's either burnout velvet or it's like an applique on a net or something so that you get lots of layers yeah, um, and that does interesting it. tricks in the light, especially yeah. in the scenes where we see her in the dark. Yes. It's so textured and it's so like three dimensional. Yeah. And, like it, the rest of it is so plain that it's just like, it's, mm -hmm. oh, it's fabulous. Yeah. It's like these really strict lines and then you get the rich texture from the, the lace pieces. And the other and thing the I fact, wanted to yeah. draw everybody's attention to is her costume appears symmetrical, but her hairstyle is yes. very asymmetrical. Very asymmetrical, yeah. So it's oh. subtle with her, the asymmetry, but it's mm -hmm. present. Yeah, and here, you're right. It changes, like, in this light, it looks more, what would the word be? Teal? It, it does like look it teal, but I think it's interesting that it's teal in this scene that was with a green because teal is like when yeah. you add from green to blue. Yeah, um, I'm guessing yes. it's the color balancing because of the yeah. green background. Mm -hmm. um, since this is the scene where they're in the little garden. Yeah, like yeah. like it definitely feels you know almost like green reflections on it if you look. So it definitely feels like yeah. that's a lighting and a color balancing situation. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and it it looked to me like like blue wool suiting of some sort. And that's also going to have a factor like wool isn't a shiny fiber. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it, it might just it all like it looks lighter here in this meeting mm-hmm. and like this is again i guess we'll just spoilers whatever but this is like a point when you're especially if you're reading the books you have no <laughs> idea like you have no idea at this point in the story uh-huh. you are suspicious of this lady oh yeah not this lady, <laughs> not this and, lady and they're actually point. sort of antagonistic towards each other exactly right. exactly I'm still on my they don't know about each other train. I don't think yeah, from what I we've seen in the so. season that they are I aware don't think that they they're do. batting no. for the same if anyone's, team. Yeah, if anyone's aware, aware, it's Varen. And yeah. I think Varen yeah, knows think all of them, so. but I don't think they yeah, know each yeah. other. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out for sure but i mm. love her hair look at that it looks like a snake oh, weaving through her hair or yeah. a sinuous like dragon wrapping around a tower i don't mm-hmm. know i don't know oh, what you're talking about oh, what you're talking about there that doesn't make any sense that's it <laughs> that's nonsense that you just <laughs> oh my god this room though is just so fabulous what is in the yeah. background i know this is not it's a bedroom i like, think no like in the background like no like back to the left Here? in the middle yeah like oh, is that like it a looks terrarium like... do they have a yeah that's lizard? what it looks yes. like to me you know what else it looks like it looks roses? like a model of a city too like in it a glass be, yeah. cage it could be but I think There's it's a so terrarium. many interesting things in here. I want like a prop person to come tell me what everything in this room is, because the other yeah. room that we've seen is Moraine's, and it is so which is empty, dark, it's dark, yeah, just so empty. And, and Alana's, but it's mostly bed. <laughs> yeah, well, this, this that's still bed. Alana's, I'm sure. But like you know, uh, this would be Alana's um, foyer, I believe. Yeah. It's foyer. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was yeah. Sherry Am's. That they oh, no, I don't her, but so. you're right. The cushions no, on no. the the sofa are green. I'm thinking a lot of now. Also, and, this and just and has Sharon a gets very, up to leave. It has like, an Alana like, vibe. The it tea does. set, um, like this, this looks like they are they've decided to draw, um, from a, like a South Asian culture for whatever yeah. they're giving her because the vibes in this room are just very um, and they match for home I agree, one hundred percent. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so, they do. That's they true. Do. That's true. Also, just scene wise, at the end of the scene, Sherryam leaves, and they yeah. right, <laughs> so, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she does not look impressed. She's like, I don't no, like your tea I, set. I, I, Get the boys out of here. Yes. I don't like your tea set or That's, your tea boys. <laughs> exactly. Yes, I think this might be her look after, like uh, maybe Ivan hands like Lana some tea. Like no look hands it to her. She's like, oh come on. <laughs> so. Yeah, and see how the blue is shifting again? It's just, yes. I, I love the way that it plays with the light. It's fascinating. Yeah, yeah that because, yeah, you're right. Like, here, it looks more green, and then here, suddenly, it looks very blue. Yes. Right, it's probably just color balancing, but it also makes a contrast between them. Like, mm-hmm. they are not allied here. Yeah, I it love for Lauren's sure. hair. I know that we've already talked about her, but... <laughs> I- it's yeah, just, I mean, I've told you my head canon that every morning that's what they do together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that expression. <laughs> yes. Sure I am. She's like, there are too many boys in this room. I'm not sure about yeah. this. I'm right. just blue. I'm uncomfortable here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. Paul, these looks are because they're talking, and that seems to be the thing that's really annoying her. She does it's not really, want yeah. the warders to participate in this conversation. Um, yeah, yeah, she doesn't feel like warders should get opinions. No, yeah. warders are to be yeah. seen and not it's, heard. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, like, about the, it, like, what I'm trying to equate this is, like, what would this be? Like, I'm a teacher, and, like, let's, we're all having a meeting about the curriculum, and someone has brought in, like, I, that's the feeling that she, I think she has at this point. Is like, why are your TAs uh, why, talking? Yeah, exactly. That's the feeling. <laughs> What's happening? So this is a faculty meeting, Alana. So, she is pretty I think fabulous. She has blue on her earrings. Here. Yeah, it's little blue or black stones. And like I it almost oh, looks it like could black, be black pearls. It could be black, you're right. I don't know. I it like it. It could them. be dark blue pearls. Mm-hmm. But but they could also <laughs> yes. Yes. Or very dark gray, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But I love how much stricter she looks standing than yeah. sitting. Like this costume, it doesn't look bad when she's sitting by any means. And it doesn't look like it restricts her movement in any way. But yeah. she looks so much more uncomfortable sitting than she does standing. And that also, to me, adds to the air of authority and, mm-hmm. and like the teacherness of it. Because when you're you're teaching, you're 
on your feet most of the time. Yes. I'm also just going to say, and this may be way out of left field, I'm kind of getting some, like, nun vibes. Yeah. It's like with yeah. the shape yeah. and, like, yeah. the str- it's very <laughs> strict. Well. Yeah. And there's often, like, like, yep. like the cards, parts would be, like, white and black. But, like, you know, the little, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, yeah. I'm getting some Mother Superior. Well, one of the things I've been wondering here with her is I'm wondering if this is, like, a dark blue net with the lace appliques over the top over a lighter blue because see how much lighter it is around the appliques so that adds to that nun vibe too like it's Mm -hmm. the the stark colors but softened by the appliques right right and yeah it looks so dark black in the dark Mm -hmm. (laughs) it just swallows the light it does Mm-hmm. It does. And so does Leandrin's. They're yeah. both made of, of wool and they both kind of swallow the light. Mm-hmm. Oh. This is her mean. That's when she was being like super mean, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. That was her, yeah. This this picture here, yeah, was her scolding. Before Elaine the ones afterwards. Having... Yeah. Oh, no, that's when she's yeah. scolding yeah. Elaine. Yeah, that's when, yeah she's scolding the pillows in her pillows. room. Yeah. Yeah, scolding Elaine and for the pillows. Maids. Yeah. <laughs> The yeah, and look how much darker her blue is than Liana's. Yep. And yeah, which the I has got to be intentional. Turn black in this scene. Yeah. It's just so no, I amazing. do think it's interesting. Once again, we are back to the thing that I noticed when we did the sitter breakdown. Listen, everything mm-hmm. is cut to frame the boobs. <laughs> they go back. It they is, both yeah, yeah. 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 Above that stops where the boobs. <laughs> And like the applique thing, kind of, it's like a little bit here. I mean, I'm assuming that a show that casts this many beautiful people and gives everyone an amazing glow up from their descriptions in the books Mm. is not going to waste their free boob card on the (laughs) the amazing Amerlin titty flop. I mean, I don't, I don't Sorry. want, the, I, mean, I, don't, I don't want the, the official, like the <laughs> sanctioned titty flop thing. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say I mean, that out there. Please, Rafe. I don't want the titty please, flop. Rafe. <laughs> I think that the scene we're looking at makes it pretty clear that they've decided to go with the, we're not going to make them naked while doing official things policy. Because you go yes. through the yes. arches naked, don't you? I mean, yeah. 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 Yes, you do. Yeah, so, they, they they definitely have strayed away from that. I'm just going to be cautiously braced against it until yeah. we're in the all clear. I don't think it's going to happen, but I do think that it's sort of like interesting because just just yeah, when you've read these books, you know there, there's there's a bosom fixation, and so I do think <laughs> it's funny that every costume is like tits out, not really out, but a little bit out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, if you cut, if you had this cape go down lower, well, no, this one I can nope. see maybe. It this also it look makes weird. sense the way that they are, and they're not yeah. the same height. And like, no. right, definitely right. emphasizes they're 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 there for their bodies. Like Liana has this like yeah. fabulous long body, and it's definitely like emphasized by the way this is cut really high. It looks like she just is. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Very tall, I think. And just you so could make Shariam's longer, but you would get. A Sherlock Holmes vibe off yes, of her. Yes, that's the yes, yes, yes. And we're saving that for Yasika. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's our yes, beautiful we are. brown. Who we are protecting with yes, all of our might. I, I agree. I don't want anything they came bad to happen you in the to car. her. <laughs> I know they did. And I, I don't blame them. I agree with them. I'm just afraid that they're going to hurt us. I know. In our I feelings think they might. with her. That's all. <laughs> I mean, if you guys, if anyone watching these for somehow does not listen to Wheel Takes, you definitely need to go mm-hmm. to Wheel Takes, the podcast with Allie and Gus, just for, they just dropped an episode with Guy Roberts, who plays Uno. Yeah. Um, and he talks all about the decision to Uno early. Um, <laughs> and so there's a lot of, a lot of discussion of how they like to hurt us in there. And, Oh, we need to be ready for everything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the um, Uno I, made perfect sense to me. I, But yes. I mean, it I, does I make sense from a logistics <laughs> standpoint. Yeah. Because he is a character who pops in and out of the series sporadically over mm. years. And generally yep. speaking, his absence will not hinder the plot. 
it will hinder our yeah. heart. Although I am, I, but <laughs> it will hinder our hearts. And like I have this image up right now of Nynaeve, and I'm like, oh, but no, Nynaeve Uno shenanigans. I know, <laughs> but, but that's, have- that's fine. That's fine. I mean, this is not the place for it. This is totally off topic, so you may have to cut it out, but I'm just going to say, I pitched, yeah. um, after listening to that interview on the Will Take Discord, that instead of having, trying to figure out a way that, like, Hopper can uh, explain the dream to Perrin without being weird, maybe mm. Uno should do maybe some Uno. Yeah. World of Dreams teaching. He's it. That's I could see that, actually. Now, I right? could totally see that. And yeah, they, um, yep. guy and that Kane, makes more sense because talk to Perrin. Then it's then it's a and character he's Kane, we already right? know doing <laughs> you know it. That. Yeah, too. So yeah, yeah. It also just avoids the like. Ha- are we just going to have scenes of Perrin looking at a dog and then knowing how to do something? Like I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to use up the entire CGI budget on a wolf hopping. <laughs> yes, yes. I in- love <laughs> the magic <hopper> visualizations. <laughs> But it may not. I do. I, do. I, I, I do love, love it. That I love it so much. It may yeah. be hard it's for one of the, I, I think I said this. I, I, I said this in uh, one of my videos, but it's. I. It took me a while to realize why I. I found. I, I loved the way they did Hopper, but I found it missing something. It was like, oh, I know what it is. In the books, he took something visual, and made it verbal. And I'm mm-hmm. more of a verbal person. And now in the show, they've made it visual again. And I'm like, oh. I'm missing the poetry, but you can't do Cause in the book, it's they take a visual thing and make it poetry. And in the show, they've made it visual again. They've just like taken it and made yeah. it what it is. I mean, it's it's it too, right? poetry yeah. inside his head and we it, don't get to listen to that. Exactly. Part. Exactly. And that's what I'm missing. I'm like, oh, that's Maybe what it is. Maybe Loyal will take him to like a, a poetry session in, in <laughs> season three. <laughs> anyway, TLDR, that's, that's, that's why they're going to yeah. kill Yasika. Don't cancel us. <laughs> okay my my plan i I don't know if i'll do it but i this is my plan right now is just fast forward all of that and then have at the end you say tldr that's why they're gonna kill you (laughs) people are gonna kill us oh i just love the way like the interaction between the four costumes here and the light so obviously nynaeve is dressed in very little in white right now and then Mm. we've got this gleaming silver figure in Leanne and then mm-hmm. we have this light absorbing power couple here yes. it's fabulous yeah, yeah, yeah that's actually something, something that yeah Sharon posted about and I can't believe I didn't put my finger on it until I saw her say it because it's so obvious now mm-hmm. that uh swan stuff is gold and Leanne is silver yeah because she's the silver yeah. and gold so that's what this is. This light blue has an extreme silver metallic undertone. And every yes. time I see yeah. that in those costumes, I think if we went back and looked at her costumes, we'd see that they have this very silver, you know, vibe to them, yeah. which makes perfect sense. Yeah. Silver and gold, and right? When, when we, I don't think it's Sherry I'm with her, so I'll say it now. Um, we had the, the video where we talked about Liana's costumes, and she's mm. got that, like, black and white one. Yeah. I think now it's actually that the black color is meant to indicate like tarnished silver. If you've ever been mm. somewhere that has yeah. old silver that hasn't been polished recently and it gets that blackened tarnished look, I feel like that was like the visual signifier of we've got tarnish on the shine now. Like this is yeah. where it all starts to crumble. To go down. Yeah. And, it, like, and in I mean, in part- Swan's case, literally go down. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. In this shot, it is just, I, I find it interesting. I, I would not have noticed this, so thank you. Like, yeah, Liana's <laughs> costume is incredibly reflective, whereas mm. their costumes are incredibly the opposite Dark. of reflective. Yeah, That's they are. Liana, the, the light hits her, and she reflects it back in the world, and the light hits them, and they yes. devour it. <laughs> they, mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. Oh, I love oh. this show. It is good. It is good. Yeah, yeah, I just, I love, again, like, it looks black in this scene and if you don't know it doesn't mm-hmm. mean anything it's just a it's dark a, yep. scary scene but if you know oh my gosh yeah is this color called indigo like is that indigo um it might be indigo it's a really dark blue the way you get there okay. with indigo is through over dyeing and then if you have her sit on anything 
light colored. She's going to leave dye stains. <laughs> okay, um, so okay. it, it might be indigo. It might be, I, I'm guessing they're probably using color fast chemical dyes, but mm. that's just a guess. When I first moved to Korea, so it was a long time ago, uh, you know, asking little kids what their favorite food or whatever and asking them what their favorite color was. I had several boys, like I could see them pull out their phone or pull, actually at that time it was an electronic dictionary. And then sure. look at them and then come to me and go, teacher, my favorite color, is, and keep in mind, these are little children. My favorite color is sodomy. And I said, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Took me a while to learn. Nam sec. Nam means man and sec means color. It's indigo is what it is. But it is also the Korean word for sodomy. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it was the first result in the dictionary. And it took me a while to figure that out. Like, you, you mean indigo. That's what you mean. Oh you goodness. mean indigo. You need to be very careful. Now, if you go and Google Translate, it comes up differently. But it, at the time, all oh the uh, Korean English dictionaries said that. Sharing the space says it all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was, it was my, that was my face every time. Like, what? How do I deal with this conversation? I don't know what to do. I need an adult. Oh, no, I'm the adult. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Fully, it fully looks black. Yeah. Here. And that's not a mistake. Like they could no. have added sequins. They could have added shine. They could have added more contrast. This is deliberate. You can barely, her very, very blue ring. Not this one. You yeah, can totally it's definitely color. blue. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now this is all the fake thing. Yeah, they don't know. I'm like, I'm sure they don't know about each other because this is a fight they're having right now. They're in a fight. And she just got the one costume. I think yeah, she, she just, just has like the, the one, one costume. costume. She just has the one. She wears it every day. So we just say, oh, wait, That's I want to see her earrings there. Yeah, I definitely think they're pearls. Okay. Yeah, because the, the shine I off think of they're them. probably a light blue pearl, and when we mm-hmm. see them darker, they're reflecting things around them. Right, okay. Like the rest of her costume. Because see how light that is compared to her cape right here? Yeah. Yeah, it it just it changes depending on the light, and that's it. That's that's the last of Sherium's. Yeah, I love images. it. Okay. I love it. I love yeah, her. It's great. She is fantastic. I don't love that they're straps over there. I'm hoping that they stay dusty. Come on, Varen. <laughs> yes. All right, there you have it. Those are our thoughts about uh, Sherium and other things. What do you think about that idea about Uno? Uh, like that Brie brought up about Uno being basically a proxy for uh, Teleron Riyadh education uh, for for parent that is a really cool idea something i hadn't thought of at all until brie mentioned it i i like it as an idea i have no idea if the show is going to go in that direction but that is one of my i i say concern about the show i i don't know when i say concern it makes it sound like i have negative i I don't it's just one of those things when i try and imagine it i don't know how they're going to do it so I don't know how they're going to do the whole hopper. I, I, I liked the way they envisioned it in the show, but there's so much communication between Hopper and and uh, Perrin that is very, very detailed. And so I don't know if they're going to like just not go into as much detail or if they're going to do something interesting like have Uno do it. I, I don't know. It's a cool idea. But let me know your thoughts on it. And of course, on Shiriam's costumes. Let me know in the comments below. If you like my content and you want to support me, I do have a Patreon. It is also linked in the description below. To my patrons, as always, thank you so much for your continued support. Truly, I couldn't do this without you. Truly, I couldn't. So thank you so, so much. And with that, I am going to end this here. So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.